joined the company staff from 2012, and our uh, advisor of my master degree, she take us to the applicated microbial comforts, which in Malaga in Spain. The trip it just inspired me. Most of our customers still is Taiwanese. Beer is now original from Taiwanese culture, but and we have a lot of regulations uh, protecting for the government-owned companies. So we hope we can make a beer for daily life, life of Taiwanese people. This is a tea beer. It's made by Baozhong Tea, Baozhong Cha. So it's a, a famous tea variety. The base beer of this is... Yeah. It's a lager. It's just a clean lager because uh, Baozhong tea is so uh, elegant flavor. So we choose a very light uh, base beer for, for it. This one is the Oolong tea beer. And you can see there's a color different than Baozhong beer. Because Oolong is uh, semi-fermentation uh, semi tea. So it's more rosy gradient than Baozhong tea. Mm. So we also use uh, caramel malt to make the color of the beer more deeper. We work with uh, the professional tea supplier. So here's the tea shop. They introduce a lot of tea processing, brewing methods, and we use their tea uh, to making beer. Also as the result in this shop. So Jason is the fifth generation of the tea shop and his family worked for this tea industry for over 100 years, 130 years actually. So they are uh, choosing the, farm, the tea from the farmers and selecting all the tea and roast it and blend it to making their tea. Products. Marcy or Samai, they, they do a lot of uh, research and experiment on, on tea, but I think the um, what kind of tea beer they want to make. So that's uh, the, the project and uh, the first one we have the um, Baozhong tea. So because the Baozhong tea that has the fragrance, but it doesn't have like very strong aftertaste, so what kind of um, blending can enhance the, the flavors? So we also blend the uh, Baozhong tea with uh, uh, something even stronger flavor to come up with uh, the smell and also the, the aftertaste. And that's, I think that's a back and forth experiment. And we got a very good product right here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Same as brewery. It's now the winter mm -hmm. coming into spring. What beers have you got new this season? Strawberry. We got the strawberry wheat beer. We use more uh, frozen strawberries with the whole strawberry uh, fruit, and we smash them uh, manually and adding into beer in the end of uh, late fermentation time so it can still work with the sugar from strawberry and that's better mixed with strawberry and beer I really like that freshness, acidity, like quite crisp it's a, and it's pretty balanced for, for us we have uh, a little team for developing all the beer and every beer is satisfied for of us. Samoa is our beer brand. Restaurant brand is called Le Bledour in French. And we shared our main products, honey lager. So that's uh, made by the Longen honey. We have it with, with our contractor in Taiwan. We dose the honey into Word preparation and fermentation. It's not only adding sugar, adding honey into beer and make it flavor. No, we 
ferment, actually ferment all the sugar, but the aroma and the honey flavor still keep in the beer. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Uh, this is the new seasonal beer for our restaurant. This uh, lemon juice and Earl Grey tea together, so it can give you fresh in aroma and nice taste, tea taste in the beer. And the base beer on this is? Uh, that's the wheat beer. So it's a very nice ester uh, structure to uh, support all the flavor from food and tea. This is a dark lager. The base beer is uh, it's like in between Donko and Schwarz beer. Yeah, it's nice, not too sweet, and nice roasted aroma can let people think of coffee, chocolate. Easy to drink dark beer. This brewery is for our trial brews. We're making every new beer start from here. That's our uh, core brewery. We operate that uh, twice per week. And you can have fresh beer in our restaurant. This brewery is 200 liter brew house. And then we try and try and out for many times. Then we, then we moving on to mass production in real brewery. We're making a uh, trial brew here. And the batch of the brewing we brew is plum. It's also a coming season in April, actually. Yeah, we were checking the brew sheet and the fermentation sheet, and we're checking the beer taste here, and also send back to our lab to analyze other uh, values to check if it's under our control and fit our spec. So to do a test batch of this, how long does it take? Well, it takes more than one month. Taiwanese people like the beer, so we choose some fruit, tea, honey, and those combination to make it easy to let them feeling more comfortable and fam familiar with. For foreigner customers, I think, they already uh, familiar with beer and they can using our beer to know Taiwanese culture. Why a brewery in Taiwan, they will make, they make honey, they make tea, they make those strawberry, mango, guava, passion fruit, those very tasty fruit because we are, we, we had a lot of fruit here. <laughs> Taiwan craft brewers, you need to educate, you need to training, you need to uh, communicate with your, with your customers. You won't tell them that's Pilsner because there's a city called Pilsner and they have very soft big water. No, no, no. <laughs> I think we can use other way like, oh, you know tea, then you try that. Yeah, interested. Yeah, that's, that's the beer. <laughs> and also, this other craft brewery in Asia, like Vietnam, they local, locally they use passion fruit, they use pepper. So I think that's a that's a task, also a trend. Brewers in Asia, which where is not original has malt or beer production culture, but they need to use other materials to make customers easier to love in beer. For me, a Sun Mai, yeah. which you see in all the shops, you want, you know, how do they sell it all? But when you start drinking it, I can begin to understand what this brand is about. It's a very Taiwanese taste. Mm -hmm. So here we've got this beautiful honey lager, lager made with honey. Yeah. Um, 
and it's kind of very much if you're into a lager this is very different from your average lager the mm. honey kind of takes over um, then we've got the which is this one the lemon Earl Grey tea this is Earl Grey tea now yeah. in England you know everyone drinks or people <laughs> drink Earl Grey tea so when you drink this uh, the lemon takes over difficult to taste the tea but it's a good way of using tea but it is different <laughs> yes <laughs> Taiwanese taste <laughs> what, what I really like is this one this is the dark, dark lager, lager yeah. and this is like a beer kind of we would get back in Europe. It could be matured <laughs> for a bit longer, but it's a delicious beer, mm. very, very worth trying. And here, because on tap, there is a kind of a difference to the mm -hmm. the bottles. Yes. Okay. So this brand <laughs> is really using local flavors, and it's available everywhere in Taiwan. I think this is why they're so successful. They're using those local flavors. Whether the Europeans, the Americans, the expats buy into this is another thing. But if you want to try uh, flavors that are consistent with local flavors and available nationwide, this brand is, is an interesting one to try. And they can also brew a pretty good, what mm -hmm. I would call... Dark lager. Dark, <laughs> Western-style beer. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers.